Hey guys, it's Renee. So for these earrings, I'm going to start with a piece of cardboard. I'm going to be using my Wilton 1M, that is piping tool. Trace the shape of it, which is like a circle. Then I'm going to be cutting that. I'm going to fold it. And because I want an oval shape for these earrings, I'm going to be making an oval shape. And the reason I folded this in half is because I want this shape to be even for both sides. And then just cut it. Once you open it, you have like an even shape. I'm going to be using some clay. The one that I use is personal clay. Feel free to work with polymer clay. I just prefer to work with this one because I don't have to bake it. And it works pretty easy. I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper. And I'm going to use my rolling pin with this uh, two green rings on each side. Rolling my clay with this. I'll be using my Wilton 1M again to just cut two circles out of this. I clean this after. Then I'm going to be taking my nose stencil, put it on top of my uh, circle clay, then grab an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut the shape. I'm going to be smoothing all the edges. Now this kind of clay dries with air and before this is fully dry, I'm going to be taking some sewing pins and I'm going to make tiny holes on top. If you're working with polymer clay, just grab regular sewing pins, put them in there and then bake them. With my pins still there, I'm going to be painting them first with my black acrylic paint, covering the whole thing. Then for the flowers, I'm going to be taking this red and I took a forest green. I don't have like the bottle to show you guys. I'm actually going to be making this lighter by adding some drops of white acrylic paint. I'm going to be painting my stem and my leaves with my green acrylic paint and this adding tool that I do have the DIY on. It's pretty handy. You can use it for a bunch of different things and it's really easy to make. And then for my rose itself, first I'm going to be adding the pattern of the rose with my toothpick and then just filling with red paint what I just drew until you have like this um, kind of like blobs. I'll take some white acrylic paint, mixing it with a bit of red just to make it pink. And just because I want to show you guys the difference if you use a toothpick as opposed to a dyeing tool like the one I showed you. The first one, as you can see, the petals on the like toothpick are not pretty defined and they look a bit thicker. And the ones with the dyeing tool, they look a bit more delicate and you have the freedom to move your tool in a zigzag motion just to create a more natural effect on your brows. So yeah, I much prefer the one with the toothpick, but you know, it's pretty much up to you. Once they are dry, I'm going to be taking some gloss. The one that I use is this one. Now it says in here that it's satin, but it's actually glossy. I think the fabric made a mistake and placed like the wrong sticker, but it's okay. Anyways, it works. I'm going to be adding like the gloss on top and I'm going to spread it with my dotting tool. I told you guys that this dotting tool is pretty handy. I'm going to be doing that two or three times until I get like a glass like effect or if I would use epoxy, I'm going to remove my sign pins. So I'll take two silver eye pins. I do have the DIY on how to make your own eye pins. It's pretty easy, but I'm going to be using two. Glue them with my super glue. Using my pliers, I'm going to be using a couple of ear wires. I'm going to open them, place my roses in there and then just close it. I love them. I love how they turned. I think they look super cute. They're pretty lightweight, pretty easy to wear. They go with everything. I can tell that I'm going to be wearing them a lot. They're vintage inspired roses and I really hope you like them. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more stuff that I have on my channel. I share a bit of everything here. So if you like this, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.